Back in October, macOS Ventura was launched, and most music tech companies have been saying to wait until it's all clear and ready to go. But we can't wait forever, it's been months. I've been trying it out on my Mac Studio for the past couple of weeks. I was expecting a lot of things to come up where Reaper just breaks or the extensions need to be reinstalled or something like that. None of that, it just worked. I upgraded and I could keep using Reaper. So if you're thinking of upgrading, give it a chance. I think it's gonna work well for you. But if you are new to Reaper or if you are just getting a new Mac and you need to install Reaper on it for the first time, the rest of this video is for you. So I'm just going to uninstall Reaper and then I'll be back with you in a second. Okay, so here we are at reaper.fm slash download.php. And since I'm running a Apple Silicon Mac, I'm going to get the universal for Intel and ARM64 download. If you have an Intel Mac, you can use this one or the other option here. I also want to install the SWS extension, which adds a ton of essential features in my opinion. This is optional, but highly recommended for so many reasons. But currently what's on the website, sws-extension.org, is not the best version for most users. Right now, it's a little bit behind. It's a year behind what's uh, currently recommended for most users. That's gonna be the bleeding edge builds. There's a long story of why that is the case, but in this case, I'm going to download the arm64.dmg version here. If you are on an Intel Mac, get the x86-64.dmg. The other extension I'm going to install now is Repack. And Repack is a package manager for managing thousands of scripts and effects from the community. This is the best way to manage your scripts if they're Repack com compatible, because it can auto install, it can auto update, version management, all this sort of stuff. So you don't have to really manage it at all. It does it everything for you. It's great. ARM 64-bit is the one to download on a Apple Silicon Mac, otherwise x64, 64-bit, and the 32-bit version not compatible with this version of the operating system. So ignore that one. Coming over to the downloads folder, we've got a universal installer for Reaper, and then the ARM64 repack install and the SWS extension. So let's start off with Reaper. Let's double click to, in, to run that installer, agree. And we're just gonna drag and drop into the applications folder. A few seconds later, this will be done. Now I'm just gonna use this convenient shortcut to open up the applications folder. We'll find Reaper here, there it is. I wanna do a right click and open. So right click open, it's gonna be used a few times here and it's sort of just uh, an additional sort of verification that you do want to do that thing. It's still gonna ask, of course. Um, Reaper.app is an app downloaded from the internet. Are you sure you wanna open it? Yep, open. So this is installing with the default settings um, and it's building up the folder, the resources folder in the background. I'm gonna cancel my VST scanning, but for you, you're probably gonna to want to get through that at least once. I'm not gonna to touch the audio device at this time. We're just gonna look at the extensions. You probably know how to get through that stuff on your own. I'm gonna hold down the option key and click on the plus, go to the options menu, and then show Reaper resource path in Explorer slash finder. And then we're gonna come back to Reaper and quit. In here, we've got the user plugins folder. Here's where we install user plugins or extensions for Reaper. All right, I'm just gonna do some window management here to get everything on the screen at the same time. So we're gonna double click on the SWS installer and we're going to take the Reaper SWS arm64.dlib and drop it into the user plugins folder. Reaper is closed, so we're going to again, right click and open. Again, cancel the VST scan then a security pop-up happens because it can't scan this for malicious software. This is just a standard security thing for anything that doesn't come from the App Store, especially extensions. So we click on OK. It's going to ask that a couple of times. So we need to go into Preferences or System Settings. Privacy and Security is the tab we need to click on. Scroll down to the bottom, 
And we'll see here, Reaper SWS ARM64.DLib was blocked from use because it is not an identified developer. I click allow anyway, and then you have to put in your password. And just click OK again, and no, and back here we should see, sometimes you have to do this a couple times, you say allow anyway, you type in your password, then you click OK, and then it's still there. We're just going to make sure that that's cleared, and we'll quit Reaper, come back to reaper.app, right click open. Okay, and now we have a different window. Can't be opened because blah, blah, blah. But this time there's an open button. But we do see the audit, the extensions menu. So SWS functions are there. We can click on any of these and they should pop up. There we go. So SWS is successfully installed. Again, we're going to quit. And now we'll move on to the repack install. And it's a very similar process. There isn't an, a little installer window where you drag and drop. There's just the dlib file, and we're going to drag that into the user plugins folder. Same process here. Right-click, open, get your system settings window handy. For some reason, as I'm recording this, and it's important that I have this footage, it didn't pop up in the privacy and security thing. It should be the exact same process there as I showed with the SWS. You just need to launch Reaper with the right-click open. It will prompt you to um, authorize it, click OK, click Allow Anyway, do that twice maybe, and then you might even need to restart Reaper again. But you should get that prompt and you'll be good. Once you get everything installed, you do still need to go into privacy and security and enable a few things. Probably the first thing you'll run into is having microphone access. So make sure that Reaper is enabled here for using the microphone or you won't be able to record. Full disk access. Reaper is going to need access to save your files, to load files, to scan your databases and things like that. Very important. You may also need input monitoring and these things should pop up as you run into them in Reaper, but just be aware that if input monitoring is not checked here, you might not be able to assign shortcuts um, in here. You won't be able to do like find shortcut and shift mouse wheel or click on add and then assign something. So those things might not work if input monitoring is disabled. So that's it. That's how you do a clean install of Reaper on macOS Ventura along with Repack and SWS extension. Hope you found this useful. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Follow me on Facebook and Twitter. Support the Reaper blog through Patreon. Or visit reaper.blog for more tutorials.